we both grew up, born and raised in one of that county. Um, went to Quindera Elementary School, been known Bernard for a thousand wow, years. Cats. Man, uh, we had fun in this like. Quindaro was, um, when we were little, man, it was a thriving metropolis. It was mom and pop stores on every corner, barber shops, it was good people um, taking care of the community. Coming up, man, you know, we played ball, played football, mm -hmm. uh, hung out together, rode bikes. I mean, this was a wonderful place to live. But like in the 80s is when everything changed. Yeah. When crack cocaine hit our community, it devoured it, man. You've seen good businesses, good people, you know, were strung out on drugs. You know, some people even were selling drugs. And it got to the point where the crime rate went up, the murder rate went up, um, everything. The structure broke down. Yeah. yeah. And we are kind of like the survivors of what happened. So now we give back to the community. I run a, a non for profit. KC Blue Dogs organization. The reason we're called the KC Blue Dogs, we started as a uh, flag football team, and then we grew into other sports. So we knew that sports were little kids and they're coming and hearing our message. We pick kids up, we bring them in there, we probably service in the community over like at least 800 kids. And we have an 80% completion ratio that the kid starts the program, that they graduate and they go to college. So that's how you change what's going on. The whole, you know, when you say like redlining in, in, in the community and the kids' uh, overall situation, man, it's hard to see parents be parents when they never were taught to be parents. You got babies raising babies right now. You got, I mean, this is a literal term, you know, crack babies raising crack babies. And it kind of hurts because uh, you know, one of the things about Juan died, you know, we grew up here. Yeah. We lived here, you know, and and things have changed, but there's still good people here. There's yes. people here that, you know, are brilliant people, you know, uh, just a few people that decide to do bad things. Mm -hmm. uh, what about yeah. the positive mm -hmm. that's going on? What about people going to school like we did? Right, but, right. you know, it was negative all around us. Yeah. You know, I grew up in a house where it was drug addiction. Uh, my parents had drug addictions, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I still went and got an education and graduated. Yep. You know, and so I think that it's overshadowed. I think that, you know, budgets are cut. Mm -hmm. I think that a lot of programs are, are snatched away. I think that funds, it's a great possibility that they are misappropriated. What we want to do is make a difference, man. That's all. We want to help these kids build this place back up and let it be back to what it used to be. Oh yeah, and you're doing it one kid at a time. Yeah, uh, With the uh, Blue Dogs, because you know, I see them going through there. And I think that, you know, basketball is a great tool. And I think that it's really helping kids because, you know, for some of them, uh, Coach Estelle is the only daddy they know. Right, right. Mm -hmm. The Bible says be a father to the fatherless. Mm -hmm. And then like, you can't father a community, you need help.